This is the new Zcam E2 F6 Pro camera. Hi guys, I'm Johnny from Cinedy and I'm here with Kinson from Zcam. Kinson, how are you? How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's almost like a re repeater from our other video. And guys, I do recommend it, please, to, uh, because now Kinson is doing lights also. So please take the time to watch the new lights from Zcam. Solar. But, solar. But we are here to talk about a new camera from Zcam, and this is the E2 F6 Pro. Oh. Wow. So when I hear Pro, I want to learn more. Kinson, what is new with this camera? Well, as you know, no, there's no perfect camera. And uh, we've been lucky to uh, we get a, a lot of uh, good feedback from our uh, user base, um, a lot of our E2 customers. And um, you also know that we uh, have also got this uh, E2 flagship series, uh, which uh, we have the Super 35 6K series and also the full frame 6K series. That's what we call the E2 F6. Um, and there has been some, um, a lot of customers are actually pushing us. They all want to, they all want us to do better. Um, the, we collect the feedback. So when we develop our next camera, this is actually a brand new platform. We have spent a lot of time to bring up this new platform. And the good news is that this new platform allows us to add some of the features and functionalities that the, uh, the current E2 series has been lacking. When you say new platform, do you mean hardware or software or both? It's uh, primarily the uh, the hardware architecture. Uh, we maintain the um, I mean the uh, the color science remains the same. Um, the open API and uh, some of the user experiences. Okay, and I know that many people are very curious to know where are the sensors for your camera? Where are they from? Can you, can you reveal? I can reveal, yes. It's uh, our uh, previous, uh, current E2 series. They are all, um, we are all using Sony sensors, and uh, this one is also Sony. But everything be behind the sensor, when it comes to the processor, or even more important, tweaking the color signs, is being made by you? It's actually what we call the image processing pipeline. Um, my partners, you know, Jason and Eric, they, they have been uh, very instrumental in doing this whole thing. So we developed the entire image processing pipeline by ourselves. So it's all our own algorithms. So everything about the image quality is actually the, the image processing pipeline. That's very interesting. And just for you guys to know, this is a very common thing in the industry to use Sony sensors but the pipeline is really a self-designed or original design by, by many other companies. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to hear that you're doing the same thing actually because you have a robust sensor, quality is proven, but everything beyond it or behind it is made by you. Yes, it's, it's all made by us. It seems like our uh, LED light series. It's all developed in-house because we think that it's only doing it this way that we can really um, stand out from the competition and differentiate ourselves. What should we expect in terms of specifications? So obviously this camera can shoot up to 6K. 60. 6K 60 frame. Yeah, a 6K 60. That's the most, OK? Yes. And when, when I go down to 4K? When it goes down to 4K, we can do 120. And is it uh, oversample of the sensor? Or how do you achieve good, uh, good quality in 4K? Um, 4K 120 is uh, cropped. But if you, uh, there's uh, also a, a mode which allows you to, uh, to go down from uh, using the full sensor from 6K to 4K, that is called super sampling. That is low core. Very nice. When it comes to recording codec, is there anything new or are you still using the, uh, like, like before? This one will um, primarily, well, we are still pending for the uh, certification process, but it will support uh, ProRes. Nice. In what flavors? Uh, ProRes uh, 422HQ only or you will also allow all the way down to LT? All the way down, the way down yeah, as well. And what will be the type of media that you are recording? Uh, there will be two types of uh, recording media. One is the standard CFast card, and then there will be a, another customized uh, recording media. That sounds inter interesting. What does it mean, customized? We will more details about that uh, media later on. Okay, J just a little teaser here. External or internal? Internal, on the same slot. Sounds interesting. Okay, I'll be very. You want this camera to be a bit more future-proof, so. 
Kinson, one thing that I have with actually all your cameras, I'm a bit of an old-fashioned guy, meaning LCD screen is not for me. I really like to have an EVF. Do you have also a solution for people like me? We have both the uh, external EVF. As you know, we have launched the EVF the product uh, two years ago. Uh, but this time, again, we have taken the uh, feedback from the customers because some of them, they find it, it is just a cube camera. This is not fully rigged. You know, I need a monitor to, to work with it. Otherwise, I, can't, I cannot even preview. So this time, when we come with the E2 F6 Pro, it comes with a uh, f and five inch detachable touch screen monitor, both for live view and control purpose. This is part of the camera package or this is next? Part of the package. We just put it in the package. We think everyone would love this solution. So we put it in the, in the standard package. Very nice. How about the lens mount? The lens mount, um, the standard lens mount on this camera will be uh, EF. But like our current E2 series, it's interchangeable. Lens mount, only $99. So it's, we have the, you have the choice of uh, PL or M. Interesting. M, you still really, you, you, cho you chose to support M? Yes, I think there are some uh, like uh, uh, lens owners who, who would like to uh, have the choice, including myself, you know. I, I, I like uh, their lenses, so uh, we, we, we make this uh, as an option. Okay, how about pricing and availability? Um, this camera will be, uh, the suggested retail price will be 3999 and uh, we aim to ship sometime in the Q4. The sooner, the better. Okay, so within 2022, a round of... It might be your perfect Christmas present. That's what, that's what you say. Yes, and particularly for those who have been waiting, uh, because one of the, uh, the highest uh, feedback you know, from our user base has been uh, SDI. And this time, we add SDI, but it's not just an SDI, it's a 12G SDI. Gen lock, um, in addition to the five inch uh, detachable uh, touch screen monitor I mentioned earlier. So I hope this is really addressing um, the, our, our, our customer. Very nice. Kinson, anything else be before I say thank you and goodbye? Any other details that you think it's important to highlight when it comes to this specific camera? Um, I, I think um, the important thing, uh, one message I want to take, take, take this opportunity to tell everyone is that uh, we will continue with our current uh, E2 series. It's still going very strong. Uh, we have a lot of applications, you know, uh, um, on our current E2 series. Um, the E2 F6 Pro is a Pro series. It's an, it's an addition of our current portfolio, but we will continue to sell and to support our current uh, E2 range of products. I have to tell the guys because I think the first question that I asked you before the camera was even on, where have you been? Because we haven't he heard from, from you for quite some time. And you said in a very honest way, I was busy designing my lights. So obviously... But we haven't forgotten our camera. Not sure, but that's, that's why it was a little bit quiet yes. with the camera, but now the camera is ready to, to, to be exposed. Yes, and uh, hopefully we will have more cameras soon. Okay, we take it as a hint. Yes. Kinson, thank you very much. It's, it's, it's really always a pleasure and nice to talk to you. Good to, good to be on your interview, Johnny. Thank you, best. thank you. Guys, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.